The city council voting unanimously for that resolution, saying they wanted to acknowledge and condemn that massacre that happened nearly 100 years ago. During a 24 hour period, the white mob's violence led to the death of an estimated 300 black residents and over 800 reports of injuries. It's a dark and painful part of Oklahoma history, now acknowledged and condemned by the entire Oklahoma City Council. Passes unanimously. Councilwoman Nikki Nice, Councilman white James mob. Cooper, and mayoral advisor J.D. Baker crafting this resolution, acknowledging the 1921 Tulsa race massacre, a tragic part of history which, for the most part, has been ignored. It just speaks uh, to where we're moving and wanting to move as a city and a state uh, in relation to understanding, recognizing, and reckoning uh, with what is happening to black folks. Councilwoman Nye says this resolution is about understanding what took place not only in Tulsa's Greenwood District, but in Oklahoma City's Deep Deuce, where a black man was lynched. Claude Chandler, who was taken from our Oklahoma City County Jail and lynched uh, on 10th and Council. So it, it talks about the correlation of the trauma that's taking place for African Americans in our state. State Representative Representative Jason Lowe, part of the Oklahoma Black Caucus's virtual event tonight, remembering the victims and honoring the survivors. We're going to be discussing the massacre in the sense of uh, the survivors are going to speak. And says today's resolution is another step towards healing. Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>